Hello everyone, so welcome to another tutorial for Horse Sunset Pro and the Animal Controller. So someone in the Discord server asked me on how to make any creature that is controlled by the Animal Controller mountable with Horse Animal Set Pro. So the best case scenario for this is actually the wolf light so i'm going to create a test scene here and we are going to make this little guy mountable and since we already have steve i'm going to make him a rider i already have the horse inset pro installed with the latest version well the animal controller is included on horse and Pro. so first we need let's start with steve first i'm going to convert steve to a rider so I need to duplicate the animator controller of Steve to add the rider animation layers. So I'm going to duplicate it and use it here. Now here I'm going to add the rider script and this will allow me to add a mounted layer to any animator controller. I'm duplicating the animator because on each update I made if you are using the same asset all these changes you made to that animator will be lost so once i click this button you will see that we will have a demounted layer and a few new parameters added to the animator controller for the wolf i'm going to scale him a little bit and to make your life easier, I have created a mount prefab called Montura, which is mount in Spanish. I'm not going to drag this prefab on the scene. Let me move Steve right here and I'm going to center the wolf. And this will be the mount triggers that will allow the rider to mount this animal. Now let's drag it inside the wolf and inside the internal components here and let's check all the panels. So in general we need the animal reference in links we all have those links already set here. We do not have reins and what else do we need? Everything is set right here. Also we need to parent the mount based game object to the spine of the animal let's use what we already had here and go to transform set parent and i'm going to find the spine one of the animal and set it right here this will parent the mount base to the spine one on enable finally let's add the ui to see when we are close to the animal so we can mount it Let's add a canvas and on the project, let's find the mount UI component and drag it into the canvas. Now let's test this. You will see, first we are aiming to the wolf. We are using the wolf as the main character now. So we need to fix that. Let's go to the wolf and disable the camera target game object now we are looking at steve but also we are controlling both characters so we need to disable the malverse input on the wolf if we hit play again and go to the wolf and press f oops nothing is happening because there's no input for mounting so let's add it by right clicking on the rider script and create mount inputs you will see three inputs added to the malverse input component going back let's go to f and we can mount it i use you will see that the mount animation are scaled so we need to adjust that and if we dismount it the wolf will go to the sneak stance and that is because this is resetted so on the sneak stance let's disable reset on disable let's fix the the mounting animations let's go to the mount triggers and right here we can create an adjustment 
and that adjustment will allow us to scale down the animation so we can click on the plus button and let's create a new asset i have already created but let's start it over and here in this transform animation asset we are going to use it for the riding adjustment and we're going to scale down the mount and dismount animations by half and we are going to use it on all mount triggers trying it again we mount and the mounting is correct and we are mounting the wolf and if we dismount first the camera is pointing at let's see if which is root is right here so on the rider component on the events when dismounting instead of looking at stiff on start dismounting we're going to look at the main target game object and also we need to use the cine machine mount virtual camera which is this one right here so we have the virtual camera when we are on foot and the virtual camera we are when we are mounting and i think that's it that's all we need to do if we mount we're mounting and if we dismount we're following steve and the wolf is right there now if we mount the wolf and let's use the run animation you will see that he moved a little bit weird and that is because the riding animations were meant to be used with the horse so let's fix that let's go to the mount component here on the montura game object and hit custom mount and use straight spine for the transform reference we are going to use the wolf and if i hit play again and mount the wolf and hit the run animation again you will see that he will stay with a straight spine and you can use the point of set values to bend it over or keep it straight to your needs and just like that you will have a better writing animation for custom animals so that's it i hope it helps